NASA's Human Machine Teaming System enables the monitoring of multiple different variables to learn the state of the human operator for increasingly autonomous systems. And this patent is now available to industry for development and integration. NASA is interested in helping industry shape the future of urban air mobility, what my husband calls a flying car. He's asked me, where's my flying car? And, well, we don't have them quite yet, but we're working to develop the national airspace architecture and the vehicles and the certification processes and the role of the human in that new area. We can take information about the state of the operator and use it to enable adaptive automation. And that's important because we want to have um, increasingly autonomous systems of the future be able to team efficiently and safely with humans. Right now we have many types of physiological sensors that allow us to measure the brain directly in a couple of different ways. We can get various autonomic nervous system information such as respiration rate, galvanic skin response, heart rate variability. When we put all of these data streams together and we combine that with machine learning in order to output the state of the human operator. And so we're getting at mental state, not just their behavior or just where they might be applying their visual attention, but really what's going on in their head. Are they paying attention? Have they recently been startled? Um, are they engaged in the task? That information is important because it enables an increasingly autonomous system to decide whether to rely on that human because of the, it knows something about the state they're in. You don't want the system to overly rely on the human or under rely on the human any more than you want the human to over rely or under rely on the automation is there to support it. So it would be good for the system to know something about the state of the operator so that the system knows whether it can rely on the human. This technology could be applied anywhere a human is supposed to team well with automation. And so you could imagine a robot there working with the human to do some functions, but the human is kind of trusting the robot to do some things but still keeping an eye on it. And the robot is, you know, maybe somehow it has a way to identify when it needs the human's help. And so it would be able with this technology to know when it can rely on that human's help. And whether it has to enact some other contingency in the meantime before that human can step in and help. This NASA technology and many others are ready to be transferred to your business. Find out more by visiting technology.nasa.gov.